All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Crusader Kings Three Royal Court and Northern Lords DLC. I'm laughing because I just recorded like two minutes of this before I realized I was in a Discord call. Nailed it. So. Here's our map. We're starting in 867 AD. We have played um, this on the channel before, but it was before the Royal Court DLC, and I really want to play that and really dive into it. Um, previous saves don't work with new DLC. I tried to go back to our other playthrough, and everyone was near death if I tried to play it with the DLC. It basically kills everybody off, so... Not an option. We're just going to start over. And I was thinking for this game, we would start as a child in Jomtaland who took over, and since he's a child, he can't really make these big choices. But, we can have a movement to join Jarl Ivar and Jarl Halfdan of Jorvik, Mr. White Shirt and the Boneless over here, to take over the British Isles and really give Catholicism and insular, just Christianity as a whole, a big slap to the face. I think that would be really fun. The Northern Lord DLC provides a lot of really good stuff for the Northern Lords, so I'm a big fan of that myself. Let's go ahead and give it a go. So let's create our ruler. Svanhild, Thora, oh, hold up, let's make a guy. Ode, perfect. Um, and Toki's not a terrible one, but let's say uh, for our... Ravenheart, maybe? Here, let's hold up. Let's see if there's a raven emblem. I know there's animals. Is there a raven anywhere? Kind of, but not really. That is a shame. I was hoping to see a raven here. Um, because there's a religious marker that kind of looks like a raven. Uh, like this? Faiths? For when we make our own religion, I think that'd be cool, but no, I'm not seeing it. Maybe I'm, re maybe I'm misremembering. There is no raven marker. Ah, well, it is what it is. Okay. So let's go... I Hold up, I did like that night and day logo though that's kind of sick do something like that with the blue background which one's the background the last one I tried do something like that maybe and then make the emblem gold I, I dig that we can do that for Ravenheart maybe um For honor and glory, day and night. That's a questionable motto. We'll, we'll, we'll work on it. We'll work on it. Uh, Asatru. So we have that. Let's go ahead and change appearance. I don't really have a great custom build in mind. That one wasn't bad. We probably should have copied it. Let's, co let's copy that in case it doesn't get any better. Okay, yeah, I don't think we're gonna get... Oh, wait, hold up. That kind of works. Hold up now. Uh, if we go a little tall, medium body fat, he's a Viking. I mean, he can't be two, you know what I mean? Jarl, what if... Uh, I don't like how his mouth is, like, stuck open. Can we not do that? How do we... <laughs> how do I close his mouth? Filter him. I don't even know what these things mean. Um, I just... Hold up. How, how, how do we close it? That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> really? I can't close his mouth? Yikes, that's some 
scary stuff we just did. Open mouth. Here it is. There's a whole thing that says open mouth. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. I think I can work with that. I want his eyes to be blue if possible. Like a... Kind of like a piercing blue almost. Wintery blue. Yes. Alright. I can work with this. Looks good. Very nice. So we'll go with that for Jarl Ode. Chieftain Ode is what he'll start as. And he will start a child, like we said. Three years of age allows us to choose a bossy education for him. And if we take all these points away... Here we go. We can do a few things. First off, we can give him genius, which is excellent. We can give him comely and hail. So we are going to play according to the rules of the game. If we can't, we are going to stay in the achievement limit and we're going to be playing Iron Man so that achievements are enabled. I want to play this as legitimately as possible with a custom ruler. So with these choices, we're already at 351 out of our 400 possible points. Um, so we are running out of points quickly. Um, I do want Witch, which it just sounds so cool. I've, I've seen that like you can like four Witch Covens and stuff. I think that's going to hurt us in the short run but in the long run should be awesome really cool I'm hoping that's gonna be fun uh, one-eyed is virtuous for Asatuans and I like the idea of him being one-eyed prestige discard wouldn't suck either but the reason I wanted him to be one-eyed let's do prowess up to 375 so we're divisible by five here the reason I want to do one-eyed is the reason a child is currently head of Jontalen is because his parents were killed in a coup, basically. And the coup failed, but his parents were killed and he lost an eye in the endeavor. So Scarred might even make sense too, but we'll see if we have the points for that. After all is said and done, I think we might have the points for Scarred as well. No, we'll do Raider. Yes, because he has like a... Yes. Well-known plunderer of foreign settlements. More that his family is well-known plunderer of foreign settlements. So we'll take Raider, and that'll be our 400 points right there. That is Jarl Ode. He is set to go. Chiefdom, chiefdom of Jontaland. Count Ode Ravenheart of the Chiefdom of Jontaland. And Ravenheart fits really well with the fact that we're going to be a witch. I like that a lot. That actually was accidental, so I'm glad that happened. I think that's more of a crow than a raven, but shh, we don't worry about it. All right, let's finalize. That's our guy right there. Let's go to the game rules, enable Iron Man. There are no mods or anything. We are playing as legitimately as we can. Go ahead and apply that. And let's start our journey in Jump to Land. Let me turn down the music too, just in case it's too loud. It's great music though. Okay, yeah, so this was my little test run. I was looking at a couple of things. There we go. Beautiful. Before anything, we can strengthen the bloodline because we have genius and comely and hail, and we don't have any negative traits, so this was... This can be a real pain to get, which is why I wanted to get it with our first ruler. Gives a small boost of health to your entire dynasty, 40% chance of increase of inheriting good congenital traits, and 400% chance of new good congenital traits. So let's strengthen that bloodline. For generations, our dynasty has been known for the strength of its blood. Vigor, beauty, and intellect are all attributes associated with the Ravenheart name. My own excellence only confirms this. All of our dynasty's best qualities in one perfect individual. <laughs> Pretty full of himself, but he's three. We can, let it, we can let him get away with that. My name and my gifts will live on through my descendants for centuries to come. We have a bright future ahead. He is now Ode the Bloodfather. Excellent. And for being three years old, not an awful stat line. I know we didn't get to spend many points on it, but he'll get good at stuff eventually. So, I don't think there's any geniuses off the rip here, but I'll check just in case. No, so we'll look for a, a wife later. We can determine a personal deity. We don't need any of them at the moment, but as soon as one of them looks like they're going to be good, we'll do that. We do want to raise him to be militaristic. For our first ruler, that just makes sense. So we'll choose a martial education. And find someone that's really good at martial to teach him. 
He's pretty good. Skilled tactician and military engineer. Got a lot of accomplished people, just not master military tacticians from what I can see. Holy warrior is not bad. Yeah. Okay. Agilent. Vestfold. He's also quick. Let's go with uh, Chieftain Heralder, Tanglehair, and see if he will raise us. And he will accept that. <laughs> he doesn't like us much because we're a witch, but you know. Cool. He will accept. Teach me your ways, Tanglehair. Teach me your ways. Okay. So, here's where our movement begins. We have no player air, obviously, and we're above our domain limit, really. Because we have no vassals, I guess that makes sense. I would love to get more stewardship then. I mean, we're going to need stewardship anyway. Let's start with uh, Thor as our personal steward. Gives us two stewardship and three prowess. I think we might go to Odin at some point once we start getting dread, but we don't have any dread yet. So let's go with Thor. Thor, friend of humanity. The gods are many and inscrutable. Yet I cannot say that there are not some who hold a level of special appeal for me. Were I to dedicate myself openly to the express worship of primarily one such deity, I would doubtless draw like-minded souls to my side. Whatever the blessings my patron provides, being with similar Asatuans can only bring me health, wealth, and glory. Thor, friend of humanity. And now we just need to get two stewardship from uh, getting older, and that will be very useful. 825 levies is kind of low. We have 500 bondi? Whoa, 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 whoa! I bet that's expensive on our prestige, but that's really good. That's so many men at arms. Um, we're currently not getting any levies from these other areas. It says 300. We'll see. We'll get there. Um, we are the Asatru in Faith. I'm gonna try to reform this eventually, but that's gonna take a minute. That's not happening super soon. And the Norse culture, which is very behind on innovations. They are very behind on innovations, but we're gonna try our best to move them forward. Maybe even we'll merge with another culture, we'll see. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave these up. I've read them before while I was getting ready for this playthrough. If you'd like to read them, I'll give them a second on screen. But basically, this is all the different kinds of men-at-arms we can hire, uh, our rune stones. Apparently, it's much easier for us to hybridize culture, which is very nice. And bellicose is like the ethos of our culture. This is always a really big one. And having two prowess, men-at-arms recruitment costs and maintenance is down. We get more levies, more available mercenary companies. It's all really good for a war-like people. And I don't think we're always going to be a war-like people, but we will definitely have our time with it. Let's see how our council looks. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. That's not good. Let's go ahead and invite some champions. We're gonna need that pretty badly. But then we're gonna have to recruit them too. How many champions do we have? Well, our champions aren't bad. And we do have five out of six. That's not too bad. It's just that our marshal is so bad. Do we have any guests, maybe? We do, though he's not any good at what we want him to be good at. That's a shame. He's comely. Or she is comely. He's also a dwarf. Just sadistic and calm. Just and sadistic? That's an interesting combination. Okay, so a court physician is always good. Uh, she's poor at it, but hey. Better than terrible like everybody else, I suppose. 0.02 is also pretty cheap. Um, we don't have a court yet, but that'll be really cool for artifacts. I, I don't completely understand artifacts yet, but I kind of get the idea. The court tutor improves our education outcomes. We definitely want that. Oh, damn it. She was good at that. Should have held on. But oh well. She's still going to be average at it. We can't move her, I don't think. Because I think that'll cost 200 prestige if we do this. Not worth it. So let's do, go ahead and appoint Skjaldvor. Skjaldvor. There we go. Powerful agent in hostile schemes against you? What? Oh, court physician is powerful agent in hostile schemes against you. Got you. Okay, we don't want a spy master that doesn't like us, honestly. That's not good. 
pack on my steward. Is uh, oh hold up, we have a really good steward. I didn't notice that. My court physician should be our goatee. Much better. Thank you. And she does like us. That's good. I am having problems with my spy masters. He would be good as well, but he also doesn't like us. Having your spy master not like you is not good. That short reign penalty. She's impatient. She's arrogant. His is just short reign, which personal diplomacy. Oh boy. Maybe he'll like us more here. Minus 13. Uh, those are better odds of getting us getting it up before he kills us. So let's go with that. Okay, we're getting a little set up here. 630, 596, 591. This looks like the most doable opponent immediately. Metal pad is 304, never mind. That's the most doable early. They have no men at arms. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. And then Angerman Wind has 630. Okay. So what the idea is, is we are going to get this Jomtaland movement up to 10 counties and then Varangian adventure ourselves over to Ireland and start our actual campaign there. This is all just prelude to that moment. So let's go ahead and declare war on Metal Pad for 50 piety because they're also a Norse. That makes sense. 2.45 piety a month. Let's go. That is really good. Yeah, declare that war. Before the game even truly begins, we're already at war to get our 10 counties together. Very nice. Our levy should go up soon after the game begins. Right now it's at saying zero, but that's not actually our real number. It should get more soon. Oh, that one won't because of the vein limit, but should get 600 more from these other two locations. We should be at like 1430, which would be insane if true. We would actually be really stacked. So I'm gonna put them here. Um, I'm gonna wait for this army to manifest before we do that. I think our council is set, our court is set. Courtiers managed. I suppose we already have a full unit of men at arms. We are going to need to get to a thousand prestige to be able to do our Brangian adventure, but we can just work our way there, I think. Let's invite some champions. Mm. Our marshal is just so bad. We'll see if we can make do. What, why, how? There's so much to see and smell and touch. Where do you come from? Why is the sky blue? What is beyond that hill? Please, please, I want to go and find out. So he is bossy and curious. Okay. It's a shame that doesn't give us one more stewardship, but it is what it is. She does not endorse us. Why? Oh, minus two? I thought we had this. I wonder what happened to drop it. We'll get it back. Short rain will go away after a little bit. Let's raise all our armies. Yeah, 1436, I was right. Heck yes. To the handsome chieftain Ode of Yomtelen. To the handsome, ooh. We are happy to accept your proposed education arrangement. A noble upbringing for a noble spirit. Signed, Chieftain Heralder of Vestfold. Excellent, thank you so much for being willing to train me. Let's combine these armies with our, <laughs> Jesus, this is so bad. Nine marshal against their 12 marshal, so I guess they're not great either. And let's go ahead and just win through sheer absolute number. Including our sheer number of men-at-arms. We're going to catch them before they can escape. Good. Negative martial advantage, but we'll make it work. And their army is gone. Captured Nupa, the Chancellor. Can't ransom him. We could execute him for piety. Uh, he's not worth much to us. He needs 11 prowess, I guess. He would be a champion. Let's hold on to him and figure out what we're doing with him after the war, I guess. No, I think I'd rather have 25 piety. Because that lets us declare more wars. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, we'll split this in half so that we don't lose more men to... 
so we don't lose more men to the siege because the siege is going to take do attrition to us and why not we'll take another w wait our ch our champion did what your forces captured the secret on champer of chief okay after winning he won't ransom so it's another execute but he's a champion right is he good <laughs> no no he's not let's execute him too <laughs> What the hell? We didn't lose anybody, did we? No, there somebody died, but it was apparently on their side. That's good. Okay, we lost some people in this war, but nothing big. We're fine. This 596 will be enough to win the rest of the war, so we can go and disband these guys. So we're not losing prestige actively through the sheer amount of <laughs> bondy we have out here. And that's the first war. Okay. After this, um, I suppose Angerman Lind comes next. And that gets us to six counties. And then we can just do like a one, two, three, four, maybe. And we're there. Mary has like nothing. They're getting raided too. Okay. By who? Of East Anglia. But why? But why? Okay, sure, if you say so. Attacking Northumbria and attacking East Anglia. Yeah, you shouldn't have declared two wars, Ivar. Not your best not your best and brightest move there. Okay. This is gonna be so cool, the artifact system. I can't wait to see what kind of artifacts we can get that actually like do things for our uh, player character. That's gonna be awesome. I am really looking forward to that. This guy has 300 men at arms. Looks like they're all gonna have about 300 men at arms, yeah. That's just the expected amount. Okay. Fair enough. I took Chieftain Ragnar's son. Yeah, definitely ransom that for 29 gold. Hey, hey. And then I guess we'll execute the wife because it gets us piety. It's what the gods would want. And. He doesn't have the money to ransom for her. So, execute away. And that's a war. To the blathering chieftain Ode, may your humors rot in your living body. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. Excellent. So that is one more territory we have that we can't really manage, but okay. Once we get a duchy, things should get a little easier. Angerman Lind. Let's go ahead and make this happen, huh? Conquered Duchy. Interesting. Okay, for 50 piety. Another war. Gotta get our 10 counties together here. What kind of general do they have, though? Because if it's any good, they might be able to face us. Yeah! Yeah, that's much better than us. Defending a river crossing? Defending... Oh, God. Don't don't go over a river. No, no, it's not. Yeah, hold up. Let's not go over a river to fight them when it's already going to be a problem. We're probably going to have to recover men after this fight. Because this one's not going to go super smoothly. Better army commander and defending in Taiga. Okay. All because our general is not great. This could be difficult. But I'm confident we'll win, if not just by sheer number. Rampage through our soldiers became a berserker, okay. Yeah, we won through sheer numbers, but they were... Even though they were that outnumbered, they still took out almost as many of us, so... Not our most commanding victory ever. 110 fame, though. 204 deaths to 350 deaths. We're gonna leave the whole stack on here, because they're gonna come back for another round. I know they will. Yep, here they come. Time for round two. And things are getting better for us now. Now that the numbers are even more skewed. They'll still put up a good fight because of all their advantages, but... Not enough to actually win the fight. That's for sure. Champion Ofager ripped the head off of Yorolfer and became a Berserker. Attaboy! 
We like to see that. We lost 86, they lost 215. And now this thing is basically done. We'll let them come at us one more time, and then we'll split the stacks. So we're not taking more attrition. Once we get to 125 gold, we can make a uh, duchy title too. That'll give us a lot of prestige and get rid of our holding problems because we can hand off titles. All right, let's wipe out the rest of them right here. The final battle should be. Oh, Hissinger got his head ripped off. That sucks. We lost a champion. Defeated the army, but we lost a champion along the way. Okay, this is where all the Bondi are, which are the expensive ones. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, at least Ophager has 11 Marshal now because he became a Berserker. It's better than it was. All their peasants showing up. Hakon became a Berserker. Good, that a boy. We got Angerman Lin. Doesn't look like we captured anybody valuable. It's a shame, but it is what it is. <clears throat> 75 more fame, too. To the brash chief the node, may your humors rot in your living body. Same message as before. Okay, and we are almost at the 125 gold we need to make that title. 591, 538. Okay. These guys have taken a bit of a hit. These haven't. Um, if we could avoid Prondheimer, that would be best. Because this has a holy site at it that we'll want to take again one day, and I think Ferengian Adventure stops us from taking it for a very long time. So maybe we go... What kind of generals does this guy have, do you think? No way to know, really. Uh, a good one, for sure. Whoa. Yeah, let's go with uh, these guys. I should let that recover first, huh? Let's give it a couple months of soldier recovery here, and then we'll go. Yeah, we lose a lot of prestige just having this big of a military, honestly. That's rough. Give this one more month. When we turned four, we did get a stewardship point. So we are only one away from being able to hold another holding, which is good. I'd like to be able to hold these original four if I can. Divine Judgment. My Gija Portis is really getting on my nerves. Not a moment goes by when she isn't droning on and on about Odin and his will. She especially loves to tell everyone how the Allfather will punish liars, but why would I listen to her when Freya embraces us as we are, flaws and all? What a sad little life Portis must live. She's got plus three with us. Make her a laughing stock. You gain Trickster. Lose 30 stress. For 10 years? No. I think like a pious little pansy will shut her up. She gets 20 penny and we get 50 piety? That's a perfect response, actually. You can blackmail? No, yeah, let's do that. Why wouldn't we do that? That'll shut her up. And get us some stuff along the way. Okay, so we are recovered, basically. Let's go ahead and declare war here. Raise our armies and get in there. With our staggering 11 marshal. And they have 8. Wow. We're, yeah, we're here for it. 1400 to 600. That's the kind of fight we can win. We don't get any gold when we're doing this. That's a shame. How are we losing so many men? Champion Hakon killed Dagger. That felt closer than I thought it was going to be. Interesting. It's a dwarf. They literally have a dwarf leading the army. That'd be so cool. 283 to 378. Yeah, wow. They put up much more of a fight than I, than I expected. Fair enough, I guess. Alright, any big changes in the world around us lately? Not really. They're still winning against Northumbria and losing to East Anglia. Jorvik is also losing to East Anglia. <laughs> A lot of crazy stuff going on in Brittany. 
Montague's attacking Alba for 55%. Really? Conquest of the High Chieftain of Murray? That's a lot. Yo, Montague might be making a move. Okay. That's a lot going on right there. 125 we got there. So, let's go ahead and create the Duchy of Yomteland. For 300 prestige. It's all of our gold, but worth it. You're now a mighty Jarl. Very nice. At five years of age. Don't quite have our 10 stewardship yet, but it's coming. Let's go ahead and hand off some titles. Which would be these two that we got. Who is someone we don't want to take with us to the mainland? Because those are the people that get left behind. Let's give these to the Chancellor. Should have given one to the Spy Master. My bad. Don't kill me, please. We'll give the next one to the Spy Master. Don't kill me, please. Moving up in the world. All right. We still need to get to 1,000 prestige, which is going to be difficult. Oh. This meet peers button um, is supposed to be like a feast, I think. Which can give us prestige, I think. So when we have 10 gold, we'll try that. Just in case that works, because that would be really good. And if so, that would be very excellent. Oh no! Jarl or peasant, high or low, it does not matter. In the end, we are all mortals. I was reminded of this as I woke coughing in the early morning hours, a dull ache pounding through my head and throat. I better not die. That would be the end of this run. Seem to be under the weather, my lord. I know a fair number of suitable remedies. Okay, ill. Severe penalty. Oh god. Strong hand, blood, and ale. It's helping me. Do no more than what is necessary. A safe treatment might lessen the symptoms. Yeah, just go safe. A little brighter. Purtis insists that, my, insists that my humors were out of balance and that the best way to restore them would be through bloodletting. After consulting the astronomical chart, she decided that I should be bled from my armpits and temples. Jesus. Bloodletting turned out to be just what I needed. For now, the worst of my symptoms are alleviated and the world seems a little bit brighter. Excellent work, Purtis. Reduce symptoms for a year. Well, that's good. <laughs> sure. Some good old bloodletting. We, you know, we... We checked the star charts, so it was all sci very scientific. <laughs> Incredible. Hey, I mean, it apparently made me feel better somehow, so... Whatever works, I suppose. Whatever works. As long as we're not dying out here. If we finish the siege, we should have enough money for meeting peers. And we won't even have to do this battle. 15 gold, very good. We'll go ahead and send those out. Assuming anybody shows up. Let's enforce those demands. To the obnoxious Jarl Ode, may wisdom ever elude you. You're a much gooder foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I'll comply with your demands. Signed, Ulfur of Galdalder. There you go. Just like that. We'll give it two months to recuperate. Oh no. I was afraid of that. I cannot believe it. Despite my invitations and preparations, not a single person showed up to my peer meet. Well, I don't care. I'll enjoy these sweets all my own. These toys. And and why would no one show up? Damn it. I was afraid of that. I don't think we have enough connections to make that work. Well, 10 gold wasted and some stress we didn't need, but it is what it is. No way around it now. No way around it now. Let's grant that to our spy master so he likes us. Go ahead and have that. Thank you. Look at, see, we're on the same side. He was terrified anyway. He might not have done anything anyway, but we're good. We're good. Okay. It has been a couple months. We're ready to go for the next battle. we take on Mary. Yeah, let's do that. Conquer the county. Let's do this. Jumpfillin movement is continuing. We're at seven counties. We need three more, and then we are ready to go. Though we will also need a thousand prestige, so that's also something we need to consider. We have to find a way to get a thousand prestige. I'll probably just have to make a second duchy. Bryn Yolfer will make for an accomplished commander? I don't say. Yes! We love it. 17 gold? worth it, I think. We need a good commander. Because until we come of age, we don't have one. You know, hopefully 
where a good one would be coming today. No promises on that one. Okay, we did very well against Mayri here. Enemy champion Eagle went through our soldiers and came a Berserker. Fair enough. Alright, 74 to 421. Yes, lost ill. Good. As I woke this morning and saw rays of sunshine falling through my window, it took me a moment to realize I had slept soundly for the first time in weeks. I did not wake up coughing once. I'm glad to be well again. Alright, well, our court physician for being poor, Piotis, did a good job. Alright. We're here for that. Let's go ahead and split this army in half. We don't need all of it. Let's take the Bondi half and disassemble it. Hastine would also make for an accomplished commander. Oh my good god. Yes, he would. Wow. 22 gold for him. Some notable guests coming by. Some notable, notable guests that we really do want. That is very surprising. I did not expect to see two right like back to back like that that are so worth having but at the same time we need to get 125 gold together as soon as possible to be able to do our Varangian adventure but I think we can stall a year or two on that if we need to like absolutely need to and as soon as we get the money I think we should grab Good. We're getting prestige again now that our Bondi aren't being used or healed. Yeah, that would be so good to have. As I'm out playing under Chieftain Heraldr's supervision, I suddenly hear a sound. It is small and it is weak, but it is there. I look at every bush, under every rock, in every direction, and there! A tiny kitten is sitting under a thorny bush all alone. It's my kitty now. You get a pet cat. An intrigue in learning? Yes, let's do it. And we are 6 now with 10 stewardship, that's excellent. Our stats look like they're doing great. Very good, so we can handle more domain now. Um, as the cat rests on my lap, con contently purring, I ponder what I should name her. Something historical, something alluding to her gray fur, something to describe the soothing feeling I've experienced when I scratch her behind the ear. I don't know, I'll name her <laughs> Mittens, of course. <laughs> what a great name. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Yeah, these levies will be enough for these guys. They can't beat us. 25 to 69, nice. The Chancellor. No ransom either, so an execute it is. Thanks for the 50 piety. We appreciate it. Um, okay. 15 prowess is pretty good, so even though he's not good at anything else, he's a good champion. We're glad to have him aboard for that reason. Looks like these guys are strengthening their men because they see us nearby, I suppose. We do have enough gold for one of those people now. We should at least have one of them, I would think. This guy is 16 prowess, 20 martial, 23 martial, 8 prowess. Logistician supply duration versus reckless. Hmm. And he's ambitious. I don't like ambitious people underneath us, to be honest. That's really questionable. And he already has Berserker, whereas he can still earn his. I say we go with this for 17 gold. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Brynjolfur. Our new general. Excellent. 15 for Myri, and we got a couple people, neither of which he'll pay for, really. His his uh, ro his religious leader and his daughter, and he's not going to pay for either. That is shocking. Wow. Oh, it's because she's ugly? Yikes. Sorry, girl. But for the gods, we do what we must. And let's enforce the man's. To the vile Jarl Ode, may wisdom ever elude you. You are a much gooder foe than I imagined. Yeah, I bet he hates us with all of his heart. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I'll apply through the man's. Low country control. No, low county control. Mary, you don't say. Feel the Filky. Fear the Filky. You are next on the chopping block. And, uh, I'm comfortable with our strength to be able to take you out, so let's do that. 
All of our Bondi are recovered and good to go. We're missing some levies, but that's all. Um, we're going to go ahead and grant this to... Actually, we can hold it for a year without needing to grant it, so we're alright. And we have this amazing tactician now. That's great. They have a 13, which isn't bad, but yeah, they don't stand a chance. They're defending in the mountains is an advantage for sure, but that's all they have going for them. Not going to be enough. Not going to be enough. This will be nine counties when we get this. So we have seven here. Yeah. Yep. And then eight, nine. And then we'll only need one more. Nice and easy. It's pretty nice how easy Scandinavia is to walk over. It's definitely not a difficult part of the map. 89 to 250. The men are ready. And then we can just go raiding once we have our 10 counties. And we should definitely make sure that this is close enough to actually be able to attack something. Like right now it's too far away with, too far away to interact with. We want that for sure. Okay. All right. This is gonna go just fine. We can split that in half again. Do the same thing we've always done. Send the Bondi back. And then these 682 can hold the line. We'll give them the good commander instead. Switch. There we go. Or they'll really help us out by waiting for us to still both be here. <laughs> Easy enough. That went not the way they planned. And now there's 44 of them after 325 more have died. Rest in peace, you fools. Nice, 450 means one restoration of Bondi will give us all 50 back that we lost. Easy. We'll see how much we can reach from Fjord to Filki. Uh, if we have to, we might have to take, like, Rogaland or Hordaland or something to be able to reach what we want to reach. I do know from our first playthrough that one of these should be able to reach Ireland. And it might have to be Leinster, because that might be the only thing in range, but Ireland none nonetheless. How are they doing over here? Lothia. Lothian. Jarl Ivar is 52%. Okay. So they're winning every war. Down to 4,400 men, down to 4,300 men. Lothian's defending against Jarl Ivar for the Lodbrok invasion of Lothian. It, like, has a new name now? Very interesting. Alba is still losing to Hastine, I guess. Big time, too. That's almost over. Far from home. A stranger is brought before me. He's been waiting outside the castle gates for a week, my liege, my guard informs me. The man bows deeply. Okay, we like that. My name is Vitautis. Your Highness, I have traveled far and wide and seen many things, but my family and I are weary of the road. If you allow us to stay, I'll happily share my knowledge of the world with you and be your loyal servant. Okay. They're Vitalist. And he's a good warrior with some decent stats. Even an open terrain expert. He's got some kids. She's 10 prowess at 13 years of age. She's a good steward and a warrior, if we're allowed to have shield maidens and such. Yeah, not bad. Um, he's sadistic, cynical, and patient, but he's not... He's an evil atheist. Okay. Sure. Embrace Odin and this will be your home. Go ahead. I welcome you if you embrace Odin. You've gained a favor hook on Vitautis. Very good. Fear to Filky, 15 gold. Enforce that. To the abhorrent Jarl Ode, may your humors rot. Yada yada. <laughs> One more to go. Okay. Now can we reach Leinster? We cannot. Okay, I'm worried. Maybe we take Rogaland? Let's go for Rogaland for our final county, just to make sure we can reach what we want to reach. Raise all our men and get down there. No, don't do it by sea. And then we will have all of our counties owned. We'll have all the counties we need, 
We'll just simply have to get to a thousand prestige and get ourselves ready to leave. Unwelcome attention. Danila has been pestering me for a long time now. Many of the other children listen to her, and she uses her influence to turn them against me. I cannot get her to stop no matter what I do. Boy, she's five. With four intrigue. She's not that incredible. She's not even educated. Get your shit together. Look at this. Oh my god, actually. Jarl Oat is killing the stat line. Proud of you, man. She's the worst. Came my bully. Put her down, dude. Put her down. Don't understand you like that. We're gonna give us about 15 more minutes before I end the video. Um, about hour long videos feels pretty good for what I'm looking for in these Crusader Kings videos. Gives us enough time to get something done every episode without going on, you know, just obscenely long every time. If you're watching along and an hour long is a little too long, I mean, feel free to share. Feel free to tell me that I need to shorten the videos. I can do that, I suppose. Um, or come back, you know, if you're okay with it, but you come back multiple times to the same video, that's fine for you. Do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do. Mittens the Rodent Killer. As Mittens approaches me with yet another dead rat, I can do nothing but praise her. The castle's never been this free of rodents before. Keep up the good work. Rat free for five years. Huge boost to health. We love to see it. Yeah, our health is great. Absolutely great. What is this? Oh, Thor. Gotcha. Pet cat and rat free, yeah. <clears throat> this is not going to be a close fight. We're going to absolutely tear them to pieces. They have a decent commander. 14. That's pretty good. Since 10 is considered average. But it's not no 23. That's for sure. Anything 20 or up in Crusader Kings 3 is considered very good. So we have a great tag. We have a great general here. Alpha rampage through. Became a berserker. Fair enough. There we go. Wiped him out. They are done. 73 to 522. Split it in half. Get the Bondi out of here. Take the Bondi. Get them out. For two gold. No. That's too, that's too much. Two gold is too much. Go ahead and switch commanders here. There we go. Now that they're over here, we should be able to, yeah, walk them the rest of the way back and then disband there. And the Bondi will recover very quickly. Once we get 125 gold, we can get 300 more prestige. So we really just need 106 more. We gotta pump 106 together. Maybe we have enough peers this time. When can we do it again? 872 AD of June this year. That's coming up. Pet mittens for stress relief. Yeah. Find mittens sleeping in my chambers. As I sit down beside her, I'm greeted by a quiet, confused chirp. However, as I start running my fingers through her gray fur, she quickly starts purring in contentment, and the sound seems to relax my whole being. Thank you, my friend. Hey, that's half the stress we got from our failed peer meeting. Okay, we got another round. Oh, wow. Yeah, our levies are definitely getting outclassed quality-wise. It's five knights and 47 men-at-arms. I can see why that is kind of an issue. We lost twice as many men. But we just have too many men. They can't stop us. They're going to come around for another fight anyway. Okay, we can disband them now. This should be the last one. 72 to 595. They have better men, but we have a better commander and a lot more men. Yeah, good try. All for the champion. Okay, we captured three people. Okay, those are decent people. This guy is not. We can execute that. This guy is... Eh, I don't like that he's deceitful, so I'll execute him. But this guy, maybe. Let's see if we can uh, negotiate a release here. If we recruit him, he loses 15 opinion of us. But he would accept. Yeah, we'll take him. Sadistic, content, and diligent? Yeah. Take him. Join us, Alfer. 
could use a champion like you. And you'll learn to love us. Minus one? That's not bad at all. Farewell, Alfer. Yeah, I mean, he's... We're basically even. Yeah, we're here for it. 4660, yeah. Okay. You now control Rogalin. That's another 15 gold. We take that. To the abhorrent Jarl Ode, may wisdom ever elude you. Okay, so how much gold is in these places? Zero. Fifteen here. We do want to raid that. Let's raise some local raiders. Need that gold. It's gonna take us a month to gather, fair enough. Waiting on the Bondi to get there, I guess. There we go. Point eight a month, really? Oh shoot! I've been losing. I've been not been keeping track of granting things. Uh, we gotta give it to people we don't need to keep. It's a shame we're not keeping him. His intrigue got out of this world good. Uh, yeah, the, ch the, the this guy has twenty prowess. We want to keep him. Who do we have that's not great? I mean, we've already given him some, so let's just give him more. That way we're not over our limit. And since we're not going to keep him anyway, we've already given him something. Maybe he'll do something with it. Let's not give him Rogaland. There we go. Loves us. We're good. And that title will become... Rogaland will become a problem in the 1st of August, 873. Alright. They're not going to defend themselves? They're just going to let it happen? Okay. Not against that. It's only going to take about a month, huh? That's not bad at all. Does this have anything? 15 gold there, too? Well, you know we got to do that. Go ahead and go there. Next. No, run it. Got their son and heir. You know they'll pay for that. 50! Let's go! That's huge! And he'll pay 10 more for that? Yes! He just lost so much money to us right there. Wow! Let's go make another duchy right here, right now. Voila! And let's try to meet some peers. With the other 10 gold? <sighs> Damn it. Nobody likes us. <laughs> We're all alone. Nobody likes us. Nobody. The Raiders bring back 15 gold and 15 prestige loot. Wait, do we like get prestige prestige when we do that? Hold up, let's test that out. No way. No way like they bring like physical prestige that we can spend. No shot. That would be incredible. That'd be unbelievably good. Almost too good. But yeah, we are now at the point where we're just trying to get up to a thousand prestige. Pigu won against four for Jakamaki? What? Oh, wow. Art Jeche, I think, just expanded. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh-oh. My keys weren't working. There we go. Alright, let's raid this for 15 more gold. You guys raid it? Mitten's the gift giver. Thank you, fair lady. Two gold. Two amber eyes follow me as I cross the hallway and a small meow breaks the silence as Mittens pounces from my ankle. She may be young, but she's nonetheless ferocious. As she prances away, I see that she left me a gleaming gift where she had been hiding. Thank you, fair lady. Yeah, we are raiding. It's just not showing the bar for some reason. Okay say so. At nine years old, he is starting to look really good. Captured a champion. We can execute that. Rest in peace. Let's see if we get actual prestige, like, to spend. Because that would be 
<laughs> I can't. I, that would be so unbelievable. I'd be so shocked. Whoa. What happened to Upland? Are you serious? I've been wanting a wooden warrior for a long time. <clears throat> and my guardian, Chieftain Heralder, is promising to give me one in three months if I start being more rigorous with my studies. Okay, this is our first personality trait. I quite like the kind of studying I'm doing already. Content. Mm. Oh, I don't really want one anymore. Fickle. No. And I'll study hard trusting. Man, all these kind of suck. But I do like vassals liking us more. Diplomacy is better than intrigue in my opinion. Enemy hostile scheme success chance. I don't like that that's better, but we'll make sure we have a good spy master, I guess. Because the others, I really don't like these other two. <laughs> Not at all. So, we'll go with trusting, I guess. I'll study hard. Trusting. Interesting. Alright, is it spendable? Oh my gosh, the prestige they bring, they bring back is spendable. Oh, this is the duchy titles. No, we still own that. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Well, yeah, let's go grab more prestige to bring back, then. <laughs> I didn't know this, like, we were actually grabbing... We were grabbing prestige. That's insane. Let me make sure we're at 10 counties. Yeah, realm size 10. Good. Very good. That is crazy to me. Spendable prestige from raiding. All right. Let's go ahead and get this thousand prestige together and then we'll call it an episode and do our Varangian adventure next time. Oh, wait, are we close enough? Can we? Yes, we can reach. We can even reach them. Can we reach them? That's too far away. Okay, so it was close, but we can reach Ormond. Which is fine. Yeah, sure. I, I mean, yeah, we'll take two counties instead of one. I'm okay with that. As long as he doesn't have any big allies or anything, that'll still work out. Alright, let's go raiding. And then, uh, where else can we go raid? These guys only have 775? Really? Why? I don't understand why they have so few men, but okay. Fifteen more loot, I suppose. Fifteen, fifteen. We could just go up this way. Sail over to that for what? How much money would it cost? It's not telling me how much money it would cost, but we're here for the prestige more than anything. watch the gold here. Do raiders not cost gold? That would be ridiculous, right? Oh, single gold, I think that cost us. I'm walking out with Chieftain Heralder. When I hear it, it's a tiny sound, frail and scared. No way. I look all over, under every stone, around every corner, behind every bush, and finally I find it. A small puppy all alone sits between two stones. I have a puppy now, too? <laughs> Let's go! I have a pet dog and a pet cat. The dog. As I pet the dog on the head, he happily wags his tail. What name should would suit him? Something historical? Something alluding to his black fur? It's an important decision. As the dog rolls over to let me pet his stomach, I find myself distracted for a while. But wait, I know. I'll name him Shadow. A perfect black dog name. What a great name, actually. Alright, let's grab 30 more gold and prestige from these two cities, and then... We'll bring that back, and we'll be ready for the Varangian Adventure next time. It's also crazy to me how fast these raids happen. Like, we cook on these. That, like, it's already done. That's crazy to me. Captured his guest and his courtier. He would ransom for that, huh? Oh, no, the guest. Okay. Oh! Recruit! Look at this man! What? What? Hello? I'm recruiting you. For sure. It's a shame he's 50 years old, his health is poor, but oh my god. Recruit, recruit, recruit. Oh my god. Execute her. We're getting stress from executions now because we're trusting. Oh my god. 
messed up on that one. Pet Shadow. As I stroke Shadow's black fur, I can feel my worries dissipating. To have someone's unwavering loyalty and to know they will always stay by my side, if only the people around me were more like you, Shadow. We sit together for many minutes, his tail wagging and my shoulders relaxing until I'm ready to face the world again. Thank you, my friend. Let's keep going. Uh, rightful Liege. Not being their rightful liege can be detrimental to your relations. Yeah, I know that. It's not going to be a problem for very long. Greetings, Jarl Ode of Yomtaland. I have no choice. He even likes us plus one. Oh my god. 32 prowess, this man. Health is fine. He'll be good for a little bit. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. That guy's insane. We'll finish this raid, head home. We'll take a boat, and then we'll have our prestige, and we're ready for that Varangian adventure next time. Absolutely excellent. They're bringing home 45 gold and 45 prestige, I believe. As I look upon a young pantler walking by, sweaty with labor, but the blush on her cheeks, I am entranced. What is this feeling? This longing? Girls are so fascinating. We find out we're straight. Heterosexual. Alright. That is what is expected. Look at these stats for a ten-year-old, though. His intrigue is going to be a little poor, but we were expecting that when we took trusting. And honestly, that's my least favorite of the skills. So if there was one for him to be poor at, that's the one. He's not even going to be poor at it. He'll be average at it. The way things are looking. We got our level of level of devotion up to faithful at some point. Uplander conquest of the chieftain of Finland. Oh my goodness. Yo, look at Upland tear up. Yo, wait a second. This the Jarl Bjorn Ironside. He's not messing around. He's the he's getting a lot of land together. We better leave before he decides to declare war on us. Okay. Just got to recover a single segment of Bondi, and then Prestige is basically done. And so this is where we're going to leave it, and we're going to pick up next time, ready to go. Nightly Cuddles. I retire to my chambers as night falls and find Mittens and Shadow cuddled up together on the floor. Shadow's black cult is shining. Mittens has obviously been at work cleaning him. They're so cute together. Lose 20 stress. Yes. I love it so much. Damn it. Again with the sickness. Y'all, yep. If y'all are peasant, high or low, it does not matter. In the end, we are all mortals. I was reminded of this as I woke coughing in the early morning hours, a dull like pounding through my head and throat. Seen to be other weather, my lord. I know a fair number of suitable remedies. We're still good, even with the illness, so. This has few risks. I don't even think we want to take the risk. I think, we're, I think we're fine. Without treatment, nature takes its course. You gain the trait ill. Yeah, I mean, we're good. Yeah, leave it alone. No risks. We're fine. Thank you, though. We're fine. Alright, but yeah, like I was saying, we have our 10 counties. We're ready for the Varangian Adventure as soon as we reach 1,000 prestige here. It'll be on Ormond, very likely. We will go for the Varangian Adventure against the Duchy of... I mean... Munster, I guess. Just need that 1,000 prestige. He's got 1,900 men? Oh man, he's got big allies. I see. Maybe we choose someone else then. Ulster has a thousand special soldiers. I don't know what that's all about. Oriel, maybe? Has a lot going on for him. Meath? Connacht? Can we reach that? We can reach Connacht. Bring an adventure against the High Chieftain of Connacht. That would give us three counties? I mean, he's got 1,500 men, but we'd be alright. As long as he has no allies. I like that. But I think that's that'll be what we do, so... Yeah, we'll do that next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining us on this journey. And we will solve this little situation next time. See you then.